Hey, what's going on? It's Matt. I'm in the garage. Haven't done a video in the garage in a long time and thought, what the heck? Why don't we talk about storing soft plastics on the kayak? Sit tight. So how do you store your soft plastics? How do you organize your soft plastics? Um, this is a question that has been asked and answered a hundred times with a hundred different answers. And today I'm gonna to give you my take on it and I'm gonna spe specifically talk about the kayak uh, or the boat. This is applicable if you own a larger boat, but you know how you store and organize your soft plastics at home, that's really up to you. God knows most of us have way too many of it, but you know, obviously, the larger Plano bins that are out there and some of the ones you can get at Walmart, uh, those are real simple ways just to kind of keep them all in one spot. So not gonna really talk about that. I'm gonna specifically talk about what I recently found online that I've used one time and I'm like, you know what, this is actually really gonna work for what I want it to do. Now let's backtrack a little. So how do most people store their soft plastics or how have I stored mine in the past? Well, the first time was a gallon Ziploc bag, right? These are cheap, they're inexpensive, you can get them anywhere, you don't have to wait for a day to get shipped from Tackle Warehouse. And it's an easy way to store plastics that are still in the bag or loose like this. And they're waterproof on top of that. So this is what I initially started doing. Uh, what I ended up finding out was that I had too many of these at one time. And because I don't keep my soft plastics when I'm fishing in my black pack, I actually shove them underneath my seat I was fumbling around and trying to grab things and it was just like, it wasn't working for me because if the kayak moved around too much, these would slide way back underneath the seat and I couldn't get to them. So then we entered, bye-bye, whoops, -bye. those fell. So I entered the Plano Speed Bags. Now these have been out for quite some time. I've had these for about a year now and I thought this was gonna solve my problem. And what it is is just a little bag. You can throw your soft plastics and you keep them soft plastics in the original packaging. They're great, and the reason why I thought they were solving my problem was they had these handles. Now, a few, the few problems with these that I found out really quickly. One, they don't hold a ton. Not that you need a ton when you're kayak fishing, but I, we all kind of overpack, I guess. But they don't hold a ton of soft plastics. And two, <clears throat> specifically when it comes to the larger packaging or the harder packaging, such as the stuff that Kytec uses for their packaging. It's a little bit oversized. These really don't work for that. And the other problem that I really found with them is that I'd open it up and I'd pilfer and rifle through and it really wasn't a way for me, my eye, just to catch what I was looking for or to kind of give me a suggestion because if you're like me, if it's not easily accessible on your kayak or on your boat and you're not catching them, you kind of start thinking, what should I throw on and what should I put on? And you want something you can grab really easily and see. But also, you want something that'll kind of jump out at you and say, hey, you've been throwing this in a while, maybe this will work. So these really didn't work. They're kind of expensive for what they are, which is essentially a little pouch, a little canvas pouch with, with handles on them. So this kind of, this has been great and uh, I'm done with them. So recently, I found this. This is the Plano 3700 Worm Stowaway. Uh, I posted a picture of this on, on my Instagram the other day. And this is a 3700 box made by Plano that specifically holds bags of soft plastics. And I'll show you how this works real quickly. Now there's four bags can be held on one side. There's a side here, and then you can flip it over, and there's two more sides. In there, there are these little tabs, and you basically shove your bags underneath there. And when you're out on the water, you can see them, but you can also fold it back. So you can really see what soft plastics you have in your bag or in your box or on your boat at that particular time. Now this is semi-waterproof. It's not like the Planos that are the true waterproof ones. Um, I've had this out on the water one time, did not have any issues with it. Um, and honestly, the fact that it's double-sided, the fact that it's big, I can grab it really easily, and it slides underneath my kayak seat where I keep all my stuff. 
I love this idea. Wanted to show it to you because I haven't seen anybody talk about this. I think this is a great idea. If you own a boat, you can throw more stuff in there, but you know, if you're running out of kayak, this will hold relatively 16 bags of soft plastics. That's a lot of soft plastics, and they're, they're, they're in the original bags. So I love this thing. Got it on Amazon. I'll put a link to it down below, and hopefully you buy one, or hopefully you don't. Whatever. So since I have your attention and we're talking about soft plastics, let's talk about little swim bait storage. Now that box, very similar to the Plano Speed Bags, is not really ideal to hold those larger Kitech packages. So my solution to that was to break out a little Plano waterproof storage and openly store the Kitechs in this particular in, in this particular manner. And a lot of people will tell you, oh, the tails will get bent or whatever it may be. I've not had an issue yet. Um, most of the time, this is not just all one color, which is the sight flash right now because of the season. Sometimes I just throw all the colors in there. You end up kind of getting custom colors after a little while, but not really. It's not something you really do it for. But one other thing, when it comes to soft body flukes, everybody knows that the tails kind of curl up store your flukes in something like this. Take them out of the bag, throw them in there. The tails, if they're bent, they will straighten out, especially in the summertime, just naturally on their own. I have a fluke box that I bring with me. Uh, it's empty right now because uh, all my flukes are in the Kellen storage bag. But that's the video, that's it. Just kind of a little bit more informative one. I'm heading out to Berryessa on Saturday. Uh, fishing with my buddy Jim in a tournament. So I'm looking forward to that one. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Give this video a like. Check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe. Talk to you soon. Thanks.